Okay, welcome back to Road to Recovery, Broken Clavicle, episode three now. Um, so I just thought I'd do a little update to you where I am, what's going on. It is now Thursday. Tuesday I went to see the uh, fracture consultant at the hospital. We had a bit of a chat, confirmed sort of what I already knew, that um, it is healing, it's doing the right stuff, but it's all about time and rest. Uh, we talked about time frames with regards to me getting back to work because obviously, like a lot of you out there, I'm self-employed, I'm not working, I'm not earning, bills to pay, etc. So, um, good news on that is that um, it will be strong enough for me to return to work in about a week and a half's time, which uh, will be around the beginning of February, which is great. Bad news is that that is when I'm meant to be going skiing, well, snowboarding. And uh, for any of you that know me, I love my snowboarding, I love getting away, it's one of the things I look forward to each year and uh, I can't do that trip this year because six to eight weeks after fracturing your bone, it's still at risk of refracturing if you hit it with any force. Now, as you'll see now from this video clip, that. Um, when I go snowboarding, I probably push my capabilities a little bit and I tend to crash. I can't risk putting force through that bone again and refraction it and being off work again. So, much to my upset, and uh, there were tears, there were tears, uh, I'm not going to be going on that snowboarding trip. So, me and my wife have cancelled that. Our friends were going to go due to go with are still going um, hopefully um, the time frame brings me that I will be healed and solid up and pretty solid by the end of February beginning of March so fingers crossed I can get away and do like just catch the end of the season even if it's just for a long weekend but just have to see on that um, but that's uh, that's the good and the bad of that so I should be back in work from the beginning of February um, so I can start treating you guys again and looking after you, it will be strong enough, I should be pain free by then, so that should be fine. Uh, bummer is, I'm not going on the holiday that I was expecting to go on, which is a bit annoying, but hey. I'd rather sacrifice going away than re-injuring myself and causing myself problems later on in life. And this is something that I talk to patients about all the time, and it's very easy on the other side to give the advice, but I've found it much harder to take my own advice this time, but I am doing it. I've got to set a good example. So um, yeah, that's one. That's been one of the difficult things um, since sort of. That's probably the the most difficult thing to deal with breaking the breaking my clavicle. I can deal with the pain. I can deal with the time off work. Just about. Um, there's a few other things that have uh, flagged up since uh, since breaking the a pain in the backside since breaking the clavicle. Taking clothes on and off like I can put a t-shirt on all right but I need help getting a t-shirt off um, it's been a while since I've had to have anyone help dress me uh, socks one-handed are a little bit of an interesting one because sort of getting down there is a little bit uncomfortable sock one-handed so sort of gonna loop it over the toe and then slowly on that is it, one-handed sock. A little bit uncomfortable, I have limited range of movement. I'm fine in this sort of mid-range, but anything sort of higher or lower is a little bit of a problem. Um, what's going on? Next week I'm hoping to be a bit more mobile, hopefully get down to see the guy at uh, Cedar Hall Clinic, maybe go and have a bit of treatment with some of them. At the moment, still don't feel confident in the fact that I'd be able to drive down there or anything like that. So uh, hopefully next week we'll have a nice little update for that. And then moving forwards, um, obviously there's going to be some rehab that I need to do on the shoulder. And I want to get that documented in video and take you guys along for that as well. So it's not a lot going on at the moment. It's still healing and resting, but hoping that um, moving on we'll have some, I'll have some more interesting um, stuff for you. Like I said before guys, fire any questions you want at me. Um, 
I'm more than happy to answer any questions, uh, any suggestions that you've got, I've got I'll, take, I'll take on board. Anyone that's had a similar injury before, it's, uh, I'm always happy to listen to other people's experiences with it. These videos are now on my YouTube channel, which is James the Osteopath. So if you want to look at them again, um, subscribe, watch them on there, please go for that, share them about. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.